Okay, we're going to cast um, a small loco wheel in manganese bronze. We, we've got the master pattern that we've worked and we've screwed it to a moulding plate to hold it nice and firm. We've dusted it with talc. We're going to sprinkle it with parting powder we're going to now put the piece of the pair which will be the drag the bottom and I'm going to mould the cope with the in gate first. So I'm just screwing a little sprue former the plate now you can see is locating the, the top the coat with the with the drag. The sand is the old bronze grove red green sand, traditional foundry sand and due to the shape of this little cottage loaf shaped flask I need to make a good job of teasing it into the into the sides because as you, as you can see the the shape is such that it overhangs at the top so tease it well in Fairly uncritical this because the detail is in the, the bottom part of the moulding flask in the drag. This is just going down to the to the moulding plate flat on the bottom, so ramming isn't all that critical. We want to finish up with a, a concave shape because this is the pouring face. Press the sand now around the sprue. To make sure that the metal does actually find its way into the hole in the middle. that flat it doesn't matter that some pieces have fallen in they'll come loose when it's parted okay this is slightly more critical because this contains the detail of our spoked wheel again it's an overhung bun shaped flask so we load the sides first that's quite important because it stops us dragging the sand across the, the face of the pattern, dragging the parting powder off with it and causing a bit of a stick. So 
So we don't try any ramming until we've got a fairly full flask at the bottom. And then all the movement of the sand is, or mainly the movement of the sand is going to be downwards. Ramming now into the spoked pattern. Nice and firm. And then breaking up the top a bit so that the subsequent sand keys in to the base layer. These little bond flasks have the advantage that apart from the in fact they're slightly more difficult to load once it's once the sand's in there the shape of the flask retains the sand and you don't get a drop out okay that's the pair together we'll just clear ourselves a working area I like to take the top one off first. You can afford to be quite liberal with the wriggling on the top because there's no detail to disturb, and that's the flat face of the of the pattern in the cope. Just settle the sand in the ingate there so it doesn't flow in with the metal. Have to be a bit more gentle with disturbing the drag from the moulding plate. Once you can feel there's any relevant relative movement at all, that's it, that's as much as you dare move it. Tease it gently to see if it's actually free. Which I think it is. And a lift Look to see if there's any sand adhered to the model. There hasn't, so we've got a good image of the pattern in our sand.